guys. So I decided to do a sit down Q&A video this week because as you know, the events that are going on right now are unfavorable. There's places that we can't get into, um, places that are shutting down, there's curfews being um, enacted for people. And I'm gonna try to avoid saying the actual thing that's going on because YouTube is demonetizing anyone who uses the full word in their video. I'm gonna refer to it as CV because I don't wanna get demonetized. And if I do get demonetized, please watch to the end. <laughs> it really helps me out. I've been seeing a lot of doomsday type of posts on Facebook and on YouTube about people being totally negative about the vending business because of CV. And I'm just, I just wanna sit down and talk to people who want to get into the business, people who are in the business, or people who are just having a lot of anxiety about this whole situation and what could happen to their business or what could happen to you if you start this business. I am one of those people who I think how I want to see my life to be. If you are constantly negative, the only thing that's gonna happen to you is a negative outcome. If I've seen people talking about, I'm gonna lose money, I'm gonna lose locations. I've seen a post recommending someone, everyone to take their, their vending machines out of locations just because the locations are closing for a few weeks or that they may close down. You don't know if they're gonna close down. That type of negative speaking is just going to bring negativity in your life. If you constantly try to attract ne negativity in your life by speaking negative about yourself, or situations, or people around you, you are bringing that. You are begging for that to come into your life. So I really don't wanna hear my vending community talk about, I'm going to lose money. I am losing money. I'm going to lose locations because that's, that's not helping yourself. You're bringing that into your life to most likely happen. Instead, I think we need to try saying that I'm going to be okay. My business is going to be okay. I am going to get through this. You need more positive reinforcement in your speech because the more positive you are, the more positive positivity you're going to receive. You are what you think. The power of attraction. You want to attract what you want in your life. And if you want positivity, if you want green, if you want anything, you want to attract that. I don't want to be tone deaf to what's going on. There are a lot of people who are not going to make it through this. There are a lot of people who have not made it through this. Try not to be tone deaf to the people who have lost love, loved ones. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. That's actually why I made this video sitting down is because I don't want everyone to just throw their hands up in the air like, mm, my business is going to fail. Because vending is a really hard business to kill. Because when the businesses open back up, they're going to still need to eat. You are providing a free service to the company. They don't have to buy the machines. They don't have to buy the stock. They don't have to keep restocking it. You do that. They're going to need that when they're working overtime to try to make up production loss that has gone on. And it's really hard to, to kill vending. People need to eat, people need snacks. Um, corporations are still want, going to want to provide this for their workers when they come back. And the thing is, is that you're becoming tone deaf if you think that you're just gonna lose out completely because of this type of epidemic or the next epidemic. Because unlike other business owners, if, you're, if the economy collapses, if a location closes, you have the benefit of having paid for your machine and walk over to someone else and have it placed somewhere else. Places that have a brick and mortar type of company who can't get through this don't have that luxury. Once they close, they close. Vending is very hard to kill. This is why we got into the vending business. It's low risk. It is a low entry <laughs> into it. It doesn't cost a lot of money to get in and it is low risk. If you lose a place, you go get another one. That's how cool it is. That's why everybody loves this business is because it is up to you to make your success. Your success depends on how hard you work. Your success depends on how dedicated you are. Your success depends on what comes out of your mouth to make people want you to put your machine in their business. Two recommendations if you're gonna be getting into it and then I'll go into the questions is one, don't get a loan for your business. I've seen people on the Facebook group talking about, oh, when 9-11 hit, I went out of business. And I'm like, what? Why did you go out of business? And it's because this person had $80,000 left on his loan to pay back and he couldn't pay it back because he lost so many locations. 
I personally, I personally, just me, would not get a loan that size out for a business, for vending, for a vending business. Maybe I would get a $2,000 loan because I have a chance to put it in a huge location and I don't have the money at that second. That's easy to pay back. But I would not take out a loan to buy the business. I would not take out of a loan to buy of multiple machines because you don't want to owe anybody money. If you're already in the business right now, my second thing would be right now, maybe buy items that are not, that do not perish quickly. So maybe stay away from the pastries right now. I would like to say this video is sponsored. It's sponsored by Yod Watches. And within this epidemic that we're having, I wanted to give you guys a smile on your face. I will be giving, or me and Yod will be giving away one free watch from Yod.com. And they have men's watches, women's watches, women's purses, and there is a vegan line up there as well. So this is the watch that I got from Yod right here. I'm going to do a close-up for you guys. Yod is giving away $280 to you, my followers, my subscribers, my supporters. And it's just to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to make my business, my YouTube, just become a reality for me. In order for you to get the free watch, $280 is yours to pick out a watch on Yod's website. All you have to do is be subscribed, comment down below any comment that you want, give this video a like, and follow me on Instagram and follow Yod watches on Instagram. All right, I'll put up the rules right here. It's simple. A lot of you guys are already following me. Okay, you could pick any watch within the $280 realm. The competition will end in one month. I'll give you guys one month. <laughs> so today is uh, March 18th. The giveaway will end April 18th, okay? Yod watches were the first leaders to make wood watches and I actually have two watches or three watches now I actually have three watches. I have one watch that my boyfriend absolutely loves and he's had it for about three years I want to say he's had it for that long. This is the new one that I'm gonna give to him Shh, don't tell him. I'm gonna give to him as a gift and I absolutely love wood watches because they are sustainable I'm vegan and on their website. They have vegan handbags vegan backpacks no, they're not 100% a sustainable company, but they are headed that way and it is it is a start. If you don't win, you can get 20% off any order you have using my discount code JAZZ20. So thank you, Yod. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to give this to my boyfriend. All right, let's get into some of these questions. What's the Facebook page name for the vending machine owners that I keep talking about? It is called Vending Nation. I'll try to put it right here. If you have vending machines or you wanna be in the vending machines, just join that group and you'll see that there's like so much talk about VD or VC, isn't VD like an STD? <laughs> VCV right now, there's a lot of talk on that right now. So if a location shuts down, what will you do with your machines? Perfect question. I just answered that in my long rant is that with the vending community is it's hard to kill. Everybody still wants snacks. Everybody still wants to eat. Corporations still want to provide a service for their customers or their employees when they do come back. I will, if my location is gone, I will pick up my machine. You have every right to go to a closed down location, call up the sales representative of that building and you can get your machine out and just go to the next location. I'm thinking of starting in the vending business. I'm in New Jersey. Due to the area, I would def want to get a machine that accepts credit card. Where do you think is the best place to buy those machines? You can just get the machine yourself and install it. If not, if you have a go through a company who has those machines, the credit card machines, sometimes they do, they can put it on for you. But usually you can call someone from NIAX and they'll try to send someone who may know how. Also, I have a video right here, or I'll link it at the end of this video for how to install your NIAX system. So yeah, I use NIAX. I found an online place that finances machines. Like I said, don't finance, okay? Just work your butt off, save. Save $100 here, save $5 there. Get gumball machines if you need to, to get passive income so that you can save up even more money for the vending machine. Just don't finance. I mean, maybe if you wanna just finance one machine, that's okay. 
but financing too many that you may not be able to place because you may not like the whole sales part of the business start with one start with gumball and then work your way up okay how do you buy a route um there's actually a website i'll put it up right here where you can buy routes near you or just google i learned everything from google youtube and facebook google vending machine routes in my area i guarantee you something will pop up okay just it's simple google google is your best friend you probably always get this question but how do you haul these machines um, I actually have a video right here showing you how I hauled one of my machines. Um, but if not, you can ask U-Haul to do it for you. You can rent a truck from U-Haul. Or you can just go on Craigslist and look up vending machine um, movers. They have them all the time in my area on Craigslist. Um, but as long as you have U-Haul, you can haul your own machines. We're working on for our first full line location, one question. What snack products have you found bring the most ROI? It depends on your location. Um, one of my locations, um, Nutter, Butter, Nutter Butters and Pop-Tarts do the best. But at my other location, Nutter Butters and Pop-Tarts go very slow. Um, one of my locations, um, Honey Buns, do super well. At my other location, all of them spoiled. So it just depends on the type of clientele that you have. I see that at warehouses um, that have a lot of men, honey buns and sodas, they go so quick. The majority of my locations have been closed due to the CV. A couple of my locations are located in a pool complex, which is shut down for now. But yeah, pool complexes usually shut down during summer anyway. So you might be, you know, not really taking a hit right now more than usual. Um, also, a couple of my tire location business have been slow. It's okay. I'm there with you. Um, two of my locations for placing my machines, you guys have seen me up till now um, trying to place the machines and I got the locations, but it's been halted because of CV. So it's okay. Just keep telling yourself I'm gonna get through this and you're gonna be okay. Do you have contracts to give locations where you place the machines? I don't, but I did have a friend send me one before so I could try to find it. But right now, unless someone needs a contract, I'm not gonna write one up. Um, I'm sorry I can't help you with that. One day I will though. If I need a contract, I you Facebook bleh, YouTube will be the first place that I show how I wrote it, what it looks like, and you can use it. Do you give the locations a certain percentage of profits? In 2019 I did 10%. Um, this year right now I'm shooting for no percentage, but if it's a great location with many, many employees, I would be open to commission. 10%, 15%. Try do not try to go over 15%. But if you need to, I've heard some people go up to 30% and if you think it's going to be beneficial because of how big the location is, go for it. Most effective way to land locations besides going in person. Mango Vending. Uh, I think that's the name of your company. Um, Facebook. I will post my video here and you can see how I market on Facebook. Hey, congrats on all the moves you're making. I have a couple of questions. How much is Nyx monthly fee? and per fee per swipe. I don't know how much it is per swipe. I kind of forget, I have to look at my contract. It could be 10, per, it could be 10 cents. Um, so if it's 10 cents, then just mark all your products up by 10 cents so it takes care of that. How much is Nyx monthly fee? $7.99 just for regular um, reporting. Uh, $9.99 if you wanna see what products are being sold. So different tiers, I have $9.99. How did you get to the nursing home? So I'm gonna put up right here my other way of getting your machines into locations. And I used um, Facebook networking events to land this location. And how did I do it is I met someone at the networking event in my area who was also in vending, but he worked for one of the bigger vending companies in Virginia. And he gave my name to a smaller place the nursing home and they called me and wanted me to be put in there so because i had talked to this guy he met me we linked up we liked each other we talk all the time he gave them my name because he doesn't do that type of location with what they were asking for i hope that i will see you guys again hopefully there's a video saturday with me placing my machine at the nursing home i got some good news from them so fingers crossed remember stay positive positive in positive out. I'll see you guys later. Bye.